Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with another daily race from this week's Daily Race C at Green Hell and we have dynamic weather. Now this doesn't mean that we're going to get weather in every single race but when the weather does happen, get prepared for a little bit of chaos. You don't even need a heavy amount of rain to cause issues on this combination in Group 3. Group 3 cars in general don't have the high downforce that Group 2 had at Le Mans, so they're a little bit trickier to drive when it does start raining. So get ready for some chaos this week. This week is going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of cars spinning, a lot of crashes. In general, this track causes mayhem anyway, so this is going to be a fun one. Make sure you subscribe. If you do enjoy this video, hit that like button. It all helps me out, and let me know in the comment section if you've had any crazy races this week. So starting from P3, we've got Gallo in P1, Popcorn in P2, and myself in P3 and we've got some other fast drivers behind us as well. Now my pace around this track is not particularly amazing but we are getting there with learning it. We started learning it a few about probably about 18 months to two years ago we started to learn this track and it's now starting to click a little bit but we started this racing seat in the Supra and just trying to stay with these cars in front. Now Popcorn right up behind Gallo there he's managing to stay quite close myself dropping back a little bit this start we're struggling to get into a little bit of a rhythm this track is really based on getting that rhythm getting a smooth drive on this track because if you start overdriving this track it bites really hard and you end up just making mistake after mistake after mistake so yeah at the moment not particularly driving amazing and not really in the rhythm but we're still in p3 obviously start the race and we're just dropping back slowly from the top two there and falling back to one second behind. Now, obviously, the slipstream is around 1.5 seconds, so we're trying our hardest to stay within that 1.5, and probably because of that, driving a little bit more scruffy, just trying to stay close to them. So, trying to get the exit off the corner there, and short shifting when we're in fifth gear to sixth, you normally, that's the only gear you're gonna short shift really in this car, you rev out most of the other gears, but we're gonna rev out fifth here, purely because we're coming up to a braking zone, so there's no point shifting just before a braking zone. But you can see third and fourth gear you can get a quite a nice short shift from third and fourth gear for stability on some of these corners and then just be caution cautious on this exit of this corner so easy to lose the car on some of these corners at north life it's just incredibly easy to do you just put the power down you clip a bit of grass and you are spinning now add a little bit of rain into that and things get a little bit more chaotic so at the moment here you can see we're dropping back around one second behind popcorn popcorn made a little bit of a mistake there nothing too drastic but it gives me the chance to get a little bit closer to the slipstream now at this point in the race you're probably thinking like i was thinking this is looking like a bit of a static race you know we've got lovely sunshine no real clouds radar is completely clear now there is a bit of an issue with that radar um as you can see there it's 50 miles each square and the rain moves incredibly quickly i think we actually worked it out wrong yesterday i think it's around 6,000 miles per hour it actually moves because it moves a whole bar within um, 30 seconds so I think that works out about 6,000 miles per hour the rain moves up a bit too fast in my view it's very hard to judge strategy because of that but you can see now on the weather radar we skipped a little bit further on in the race and suddenly it's gone a little bit cloudy you can see a little bit of a misty air there's a little bit of moisture in there that isn't rain when you see that on the radar that really light color it's probably not going to be rain it's just moisture in the air so just get prepared the weather is changing when you see that you know that there's a possibility of rain a little bit later on in the race but you can see the sun is still out in some places there's still shadows on the track we're dropping a little bit further back from popcorn at this stage as we're just past the halfway mark on the first lap gallo out on the front there you can see 4.5 seconds clear and absolutely walking away with this one however towards the end of the race uh, to the end of lap one sorry not the end of the race you can see that there's more weather coming in now and it's looking like it's going very very great and this is a sign that you might need to start thinking about some chaos because at the end of the straight here you can see we're fast forwarding it on the straight before we start the second lap and you can see there is blue in this weather now at this stage i was so tempted to go for a risky pit stop and just put some inters on because i know this track is absolute chaos if you are on the wrong tire you can see i actually go to the right hand side of the track and then I just back out of it and thought, no, it, there, there wasn't enough visibility of rain on the map and you couldn't really tell which angle it was coming from. And now you can see though, with that rain coming down, you can see that it might clip a little bit of rain on the track, but it doesn't look too bad. And at this stage, it's looking like we've made the correct decision at staying on these soft tires. You can see like it's mainly light rain. There's a little bit of blue in there 
and we can skip to the end of the GP section. You can see the track has got a little bit wet, but you can see we've got a little bit more of a downpour coming there on the track, on the radar, and that is gonna cause a little bit of an issue. However, it's probably not gonna go over the bar. You can see behind that, it looks like just moisture in the air and not actual rain. So it is looking at this stage like we've made the correct decision and we should be okay. So working our way through here, you can see still plenty of grip on the track. We're taking it quite cautious. We're not gonna overdrive it in these conditions. The main thing to do in these conditions is make sure you don't go offline. If you go off the line or off the track and pick up dirty tires, it takes forever to get the grip back on these tires. It's like they lose all temperature and everything just fades away. It would be interesting to download the app. I do need to get that app downloaded so I can see my tire temperatures. I'm not sure of the name of it, but someone in the comment section might actually let you know. And if I see that comment, I will pin it and you lot can see the name of the different apps that you can get for tire temperatures. But it would be interesting to see how much it drops if you go off the track in wet conditions because it's very noticeable that if you make a mistake, your tires fade and you just have no grip at all. But when you stay on the track like we are at the moment, it all seems good. You can see Popcorn's had an issue further back. Looks like he's picked up dirty tires, then had no grip for the next corner. Now he's got dirty tires again, and we're gonna get much better traction from him than he gets from that corner. And that is us up into P2. So that's how easy mistakes are made, even when the track isn't that wet. You can see the track is, it's moist, but it's not really soaking wet at the moment. There's still plenty of grip on this track. It's on the line between dry tires and inters. And at that point, you can be on either tire, really. The inters will be pretty similar to the dries, and the drives should be okay as long as you don't go off the line or off the track. You can see now on that weather radar, you are starting to notice that the weather has carried on in a line and it's actually coming down straight onto the track. So if there's any more rain further up in that weather forecast, this race could quickly turn a little bit more chaotic. You can see we're up to P2, so we've gained a position by just keeping it quite sensible, not overdriving it, and yeah, just being a little bit cautious in these corners. You can see Gallo, Pulling away at the moment, seven seconds clear. He's having a bit of an easy race at the front. However, things can change very easily when it starts raining. And you can see on the weather radar, we do have some more rain coming. It's nothing too severe. However, with the track already verging on the intermediate conditions, a tiny little bit of rain could cause a little bit of chaos in this race towards the end. You can see P3 getting very close to us there getting them very very close but again traction behind us not so great when he's in that dirty air and struggling to get the power down so just taking it cautious through here do not want to run wide there but you can see popcorn nearly running wide onto the curb and that is really risky in these conditions with the curve being slippery you don't want to be risking going on there not the best exit from that corner as we work our way into this flat out section then into the braking zone now you can see the rain is starting to hit and i wasn't paying attention to the telemetry and we get on the brakes about the normal place and both myself and Popcorn make the exact same mistake because we were not looking on the telemetry. And again, as he puts the power down, very unluckily, spins, we don't, we get away with that one. Maybe we didn't have four dirty tires. He might have had four dirty tires. Not sure how that worked out, but we get away with it. And you can see that rain is starting to hit. And now as we're coming down here, we're gonna stay to the left. They're gonna let, let them go down the right hand side. And you can see he's just got no grip there, completely lost grip. Consta tries to avoid him, knocks us off onto the grass. Nothing Consta could really do there, but he did give us a big massive whack and cause me some damage on the right front. But again, nothing Consta could do. And we're all the way down from P to P6 now. So from P2 to P6. Now James is behind us and he's going to possibly have a look at going for a move as we have a massive moment there. He's going to try and go around the left hand side. There's a car spinning on our left also. Derek there spinning. We're going to give him the space on the left. However, there's just no grip off the racing line. As soon as you're off the racing line, there's nothing to do. And we clip the curb. Another mistake from ourselves, and we are spinning into Barrier, and yeah, back down to P6. Now, as we come back around this corner, this is the chaos that it caused the rain. You've got James back off the track there. He must have clipped the curb also, and now we're going to work our way into the carousel. And now, keep your eye on Derek. Goes for a very optimistic lunge down the inside. We're going to slow it down, and he just can't break. There's just no grip at all. No grip from the tyres in these wet conditions and he is off into the shadow realm also. So now we're up into P5. We've got the Porsche behind us and we're just going to try and hold on. Try and keep this car on the track. You can see the track is verging on dry tyres still but the grip is very, very low. It's extremely easy to make a mistake now because that little rain shower we just had has made the edge of the track and the kerbs extremely slippery. You can see there, wheel behind us also. Just 
turning in and basically putting a bit of braking input in possibly there and snaps instantly just so random with how these cars are snapping in these conditions considering the racing line is not actually that wet as soon as you get off the racing line though you can see as soon as we get near the curbs you can see that telemetry of the weather with the rain on the, the tire telemetry go up a little bit so that's what you have to be super careful in these conditions running anywhere near the curbs and you can instantly die but you can see we're only five seconds behind the leader. It looks like Gallo has also had a massive issue in this race. And then as we come out of this corner, you're gonna see that even the best in the world can make mistakes in these weather conditions. Gallo has made a big mistake from P1, has dropped it there on that corner. And this is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. These conditions can catch out anyone. Doesn't matter what your level is, they will catch you out. They're so easy to make mistakes on. And you can see this track part of the track is a little bit more wet. You can see, maybe had a little bit more rainfall at this part of the track. And that is one good thing about Gran Turismo that different parts of the track do get different parts, amount of rain on them. So you do get varying grip levels. That's why it's always important to keep an eye on, on that telemetry for the tire grip as we work our way down here. Going up to mixture two, just to dull the power a bit because I could see on the track that this part of the track is a lot more wet than what we were at before. So don't want that power to kick me out and just aquaplane the car. And yeah, absolute crazy stuff at the moment. We're in P4 can we manage to get back into a podium in this race and this is i do love these dynamic weather races they do make such a huge difference to the game just allowing you know everything to turn around in a race and just change things up but at the moment we're holding on to a p4 could have been much worse we have a little look down that right he has that covered we end up just giving him the bump draft there and now we're going to be working our way onto the back straight i feel like we've got a lot more grip than the car in front seems to be struggling a little bit for grip there so we're going to try and get on that power into fifth gear as we work our way on the straight. Now, this was severely risky. You can see the telemetry, the rain is a little bit heavier. It's been heavier on this part of the track. And you can see I put TC on because they decided to go to the right hand side off the racing line. And that is asking to be aquaplane. I was really not liking that. So we get back to the left, get the slipstream off the car in front and back onto the slightly drier point of the track and up into a podium position. Now we're getting the slipstream to the Ferrari, Concer in P2. We've got the Genesis there, I think, in P1. Constance's going to go for a move down the right-hand side. We're getting the slipstream, but we can't really go for a move. There's no way we can just break late and send it into this corner because there's just not much grip on the track. And amazingly, we all managed to slow this down without any contact and without any of us spinning off there in these conditions. Brilliant driving there, and we're going to go over the line for a P3. Quite an exciting end to the race. You can see within half a second to the leader, top three within half a second there. So brilliant stuff chaos caused by a little bit of rain wasn't even that heavy and even the best in the world managed to make mistakes you can see there so yeah if you enjoyed that race give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with more in the future thanks again for watching everyone